Here are five more advanced building strategies to help you win more fights. Presented by Fortnite Master. This video covers five more advanced building strategies to help you gain the upper hand against skilled players. Keep in mind that some of these strategies are situational, can be difficult to execute constantly in heated combat, and may take some practice to master. That said, learning to execute these strategies will help increase your odds of beating skilled players. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. This first strategy is a cool way to peek out of a 1x1 one one while only exposing a small portion of your body. You can create a small area in the bottom corner of a window that you can shoot out of with a unique combination of edits. First, you need to place a pyramid instead of a ramp in your 1x1 one one, and then edit the two opposite corners to make it into a Dorito. Then, just edit a window on the side of the wall that's mostly covered by the Dorito and now you can peek out of that small bottom corner of your window. This peek only works with scoped weapons like snipers and scoped assault rifles. While it's possible to shoot out with non-scoped weapons, the angle is so precise that it wouldn't be viable in a real game. It's also important to recognize that this peak doesn't make you invulnerable to enemy shots, as they can shoot you through the same small corner if they spot it. The type of material you use is a big factor on how visible you are to your enemy. Using wood, for example, will create a larger corner to peek out of, but will make it easier for the enemies to see you. Using brick will create a much smaller corner to peek out of, making it harder for the enemies to see you, but also making it harder for you to get an angle on the enemy. We would stay away from using metal for this peak, because the angle required to shoot out of the corner is extremely finicky. 90s are what players call quick 90 degree turns that can be used to gain high ground. They originated when Playground came out and pros started 1v1ing each other. It wasn't long before they figured out the player who could get the height the fastest had a big advantage, and 90s were found to be faster than any other turn in terms of getting high ground. The one thing about 90s is that they're actually harder to master than most other turns. They require precise mouse movement and accurately clicking a sequence of keys to execute flawlessly, and the faster and more precise you are, the quicker your 90s will be. At the basic level, 90s are pretty simple. You need to place two walls, a floor, and a ramp, then rinse and repeat. However, there are a ton of small mechanical adjustments and techniques that you can use to execute your 90s faster and more consistently. Our first tip for improving your 90s is to make sure you position yourself on the side of your ramp and hold W to run forward the whole time. Don't let go of that key. You shouldn't need to stop moving at all when doing your 90s. If you do, it's a sign that you need more practice. The second tip is to whip your cursor downward right when you're going to place your floor and ramp. This will help you avoid trapping yourself with another floor above or wasting mats by placing an extra ramp that's unneeded. You want your cursor to be below the middle of the wall you're facing before placing your floor and ramp. It's also a good idea to switch back to your wall immediately after placing a floor and ramp so you don't accidentally place another floor when you look up. Third, 90s are most effective when done two or three times in a row. Three is typically the max because you will get jump fatigue with any more. To avoid jump fatigue, you can do 90s without jumping, but that makes them even harder to execute well. So practice in intervals of three and then ramp up to reset your jump fatigue before doing another three. Once you get the hang of it, we would recommend trying to incorporate a third wall into your 90s to make the overall structure a little bit more secure. This will make it so your structure is held up by an extra wall and will take noticeably longer to shoot out. 180s are a more common strategy for gaining high ground. You'll see players do this all the time after double ramping, one below and one above, to retake high ground. Even though most players know how to do this, there are some ways to make your 180s safer and more secure. Our first recommendation is to make sure you're always placing a floor in your 180s. This puts an extra layer between you and anybody who might want to spray you out from underneath, giving you time to react instead of getting shot out and falling down. Another thing to think about is when you're leaving yourself exposed and how to minimalize it. A big mistake I see a lot of players make when they're trying to retake the high ground is leaving themselves vulnerable for a split second before they can complete their 180 turn. And if you're facing a skilled player, that split second is usually long enough for them to get a quick shotgun shot off. There are a couple of ways to counteract this. You can focus on starting the 180 turn as early as possible, meaning start placing walls and turning as soon as you're close enough to place the first wall. 
Recently, a lot of good players have been foregoing the full 180 turn with walls and just whipping around 180 degrees to place a single wall and ramp as soon as they can. This is probably the safest method to protect yourself from getting shot because the very first wall you place is blocking the enemy player. In our experience, this is also much better in terms of awareness because you can spot the enemy player earlier than if you did the full 180 turn with walls and a ramp. This next strategy, fast drop from high ground, is pretty easy to master once you try it a couple of times. In fact, after you learn how easy it is, you'll probably be kicking yourself for not trying this earlier. Falling from high ground, placing walls on the way down, and then catching yourself with a floor or a ramp may look scary, especially because the result for messing up involves taking a lot of fall damage or straight up dying. Luckily, there are two ways to make sure you almost never mess this up. The first and most important tip is to ensure that you're looking almost straight down when you walk off the edge. This ensures that your walls and ramps always place in the correct spot. The most common mistake I see people make is look straight ahead, causing them to miss a wall placement or accidentally place their floor or ramp above themselves while falling. The second tip is simple, use ramps instead of floors to catch yourself. Ramps give you a lot more leeway to catch yourself because you can land on the bottom part of your ramp if you mess up a little bit. With floors, if you misplace them, it's much easier to just fall off. In our last Building Strats video, we talked about a side jump after getting blocked by a pyramid or floor. Top players have begun to counter this by placing two floors on either side of the floor or pyramid they use to block you, effectively blocking you from doing the side jump as well. We want to give credit to YouTuber Kurt Co for inventing this strat, Marzo for popularizing it, Speedy Gonzales for coming up with a more accessible version. Also, shout out to Leva Kachu for commenting on our previous video to request more difficult building strategies like this one. If you get blocked from making that side jump, you can turn around 180 degrees and jump near the bottom of your ramp to catch yourself with a floor. This new technique is similar in purpose, but much harder to execute in practice. The jump is so precise, not even the best players are going to get it 100% of the time. Making this jump is all about jumping at the perfect spot and looking straight down while holding the turbo build for your floor. On top of that, you need to be sprinting to make this jump. Again, this is extremely hard to execute and will take a fair amount of practice in order to make the jump at all. After making the jump, you have a couple of options. The first is to turn around and place a wall and a ramp as soon as possible. For an even greater challenge, you can try double ramping off the jump, which gives you immediate protection from the back. Then do a quick 180 into a wall and ramp. This requires you to place a ramp right after you make the jump, when you're still looking almost straight down. There is a way, however, to make the jump easier and more achievable in real game scenarios. This involves placing a pyramid at the bottom of your ramp after turning around, and using the pyramid to get that extra height you need to make the jump. Thank you all for watching this video. On the right, you can watch another guide made by us. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe. Finally, comment down below which guide you want to see next. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.